Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I hope you're doing well. Wherever you are, I'm sending you the purest of love and light. God is for us. Who can be against us? We're on top. We're going higher. You are highly, highly protected, I might add. God is for us. And so we have another message. So it's like I was delving into it. Uh, normally, again, I keep my deck upright. And um, this card came up on top. The Eight of Swords, you know, being restricted, stagnant. This could be a self-imposed prison. This could just be... Again, trapped by the thoughts, the words that are spoken over your life. Being chained, feeling chained, bound to a situation, person, place, or thing, and being blindfolded. For some of you, it was like a lot of lies, illusions that were placed around you. It's like a lot of lies that were communicated about you that left you feeling stuck and bound trapped but it came out in the reverse so what i got from that is that chains are broken it's like you are free it's vindication for a lot of you a lot of us from the lies that were told and spoken over your life for a lot of you, these lies, they left you trapped, probably had people looking at you in a whole different light, because right after that is the Knight of Pentacles. You know, it's like whatever the lies that were told, you know, the Pentacles, it's somebody you're grounded you're loyal it's like slow and steady win the race for a lot of you it's like whatever you have you build it from the ground up you're a person of stability substance you're not that like the ones like you're flighty you're coming in you're building back up because this is after a time that you've been in the five of pentacles here been left out in the cold again you had to go without we're talking about pentacles here so this could have been even families people you consider families too who left you out in the cold based on the eight of pentacles it's like they wanted you to be trapped and bound. These are people who told a lot of lies on you as well. They didn't want people to know that you're somebody who whatever you have, you work hard for it. You didn't get any help. But they had no problem coming against you. Wow. The Page of Swords. So... For some of you, it's that you got this new inspiration to move on something, to take an action that you end up freeing yourself. For some of you, some of us, people were watching you as you were stuck and they are seeing you being unstuck as well. It's almost as if people had you in a cage but then it's like the key was there somewhere and it's like you had to kind of feel your way find your way out of the situation it's like you remember something it's like divine shed light on something that you could do to to get yourself unstuck and so you were able to free yourself so that tells me too that while these people were saying these things they had you trapped they were watching you been trapped and it's like now kind of like a table prepare for you in the presence of your enemies so it's like they saw the things the web the web of lies that they weave 
they were watching you as they were like tying you up with it. And then now that you're untying yourself, they are going to have to see that as well. Yeah, you are this king of pentacles. Wow. From the knight of pentacles to the king of pentacles. This is what they didn't want people to know about you. That whatever you have, you, you it's like you got it out the mud. You were able to access all of these things or these things by yourself. Your stability, who you are, the family you have, whatever material blessings you have in your life, your abundance in general, is that you were able to get this from scratch. Being slow and steady. This is what they didn't want people to think about you. They wanted people to think that, you know, what you have, it's because you were beautiful. It's because you're handsome. It's because you're living some kind of crazy life. Again, just looking at the way she dresses, you know, she has things in her hair. So you live probably a, a kind of lifestyle that people are thinking they're judging you from the outside. And so it's like they want you to be stuck, be seen that way. This is why it's like the chains were placed on you. They tried to shackle you because they wanted people to see you in a certain light. Yeah, with the Page of Swords, it's like they wanted people to see you in this light. It's like they painted this picture of who they wanted people to see you as. Not as this Knight of Pentacles, not as this Queen of Pentacles, who is stable here. And so for a lot of you, you're walking away from these people that you invested in, who wanted you to be out in the call, who left you out in the call. It's like for a lot of you, a lot of us, these are fake families, fake friends that you invested a lot in. And it's like, now you're like, no more, you're finished. When I, the first card that came out here, because like I said, I was, when I saw this, is almost like, wow. And so I started to shuffle to like clarify. And then I'm like, no, I need to, you know, to get the camera going. I need to catch this because it's like I was getting ahead of myself. So I wanted to clarify the eight of swords in reverse. And it says here, they tried to sacrifice you. They tried to sacrifice you. Whether this is, again... They really wanted to do this in the physical or this is what they were going around telling people again, putting dirt on your name. It's like they wanted to take you out again for people, for you to be seen a certain kind of way. They wanted to sacrifice your sacrifice, your peace, your joy, your happiness. It's like anything that was coming into your life, they wanted to block you. For some of these people, they actually felt as if they could, if they were able to take you out or could take you out, then it's like they could take your life. And so it is, it's like as they spin these lies around you, I mean, swords, it's communication words it's spellings it's things that they were using to bind to you to bind to you and it's so funny that as i you know went to the other deck here it says to cleanse your space sage your space is cleanse to cleanse your space so for some of you this is like this could be an insight that you you receive as well you know to cleanse your space and then it says here you have a calling on your life slow and steady win the race they didn't want people to know you have a calling on your life they didn't want people to see this calling on your life 
And for a lot of you with the five of pentacles, this card came up. It says hustler, many streams of income. So for a lot of you, it's like people left you out in the cold. But it's like you're coming back bigger, better, stronger. And here I have it's judgment day for your enemies. This is what they wanted to do. And again, they were the ones who did it. They laid the snares and it's like the same trap that they did for you. It's like they were watching you as they were doing this. Again, just having fun in trying to, to take you out. Like I said, whether physically, spiritually, monetarily, emotionally, whatever it is. But the Eight of Swords is like also emotional entrapment. They were watching. They were watching all of this unfold. And so they're going to see it. They're going to see it. They're going to see the man or the woman you become because you have a calling on your life. And it's like, even though these people, whether it's your money, they were trying to blight that for a lot of you, a lot of us, people interfered in our careers to create stagnancy because they wanted to see you, you to go without. But it's like God turned it around, right? Because for a lot of you, you're either here or you will be here where you're hustling, you're out there working hard. To create many streams of income. Yeah, it's like you're a light worker. They did this to a light worker. They did this to you. Yeah, an earth angel. Oh my goodness. You have ancient Egyptian ancestors as well. And it's like at this on this deck at the back, it says deceased loved ones are protecting you. And this has been coming up a lot. Few times I use this deck and the deceased loved ones came out, our loved one. So it's like thanking God for our, our protectors in the spiritual realm as well, who are coming through for us. Because they're able to see things from a higher realm of what the enemy is. God, again, he didn't say the weapon won't form. But he know that they're not going to prosper. They will not prosper. Wow. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you're a tarot reader as well. Maybe some of these people, they consulted tarot readers to find out how they could get us entrapped. Because this is what they wanted to do. You are a generational curse breaker. Not only that, you're a star seed. And here we have this card come back again. Judgment day for your enemies. Judgment day for your enemies. Wow. So they tried to sacrifice you. This is why they had you. It's like bound. It's almost as if they had you mounted up. I remember growing up, my grandparents, they were farmers. And so it's like before they would put the food in the baskets on the donkey, they would make sure to get the donkey like all the way up to either a rock or a tree where they get them, you know, mounted up so they couldn't move. So they would stay steady for all the, the load, the, the, the food, the grown products to go in their basket, their hampers. And it is like, when I look at that eight of swords, that's what they did is like a lamb to the slaughter, a lamb to the slaughter. Yeah. They blindfolded you. Some of these people, only God knows what they wanted to do to you, to unalive you or what they plan to do. To unalive you. This page of sword. Because see on the ed on the tip of the sword you have the birds. And birds are also about gossipers as well. Talking. 
And the sword, it's all about talking, communication too. What these people were planning behind the scene here. On a, for a light worker, you're a healer. Again, you're a chosen one. It's like they had no idea who they were messing with. They had no clue who they were messing with. Wow. Wow. Let's clarify. Light worker. Light worker. Light worker. Wow. Transformation. Things are changing at a cel cellular level. Deep healing. Yes. Yeah, so for a lot of you, a lot of us, your, your change is like your life is forever change based on what you have gone through. You're going through this deep healing. For a lot of you, a lot of us, for what you have gone through, by the hands or the hands of people that you thought you knew, it's like, wow. It's like unbelievable. It's like, wow. It's like, you know that evil exists, but it's like, this is like another level. It's almost like in astonishment, like how low will people go to do the things that they do? It's like, how low can you go? It's like, just when you thought that this was it, it's like you're shocked again. And for a lot of you, a lot of us, this sent you or it will be sending you into a transformation. You are forever changed your life. It's like the Pandora's box is open. It's like the world will never be the same. Because I understand, yes, we believe in love and light and healing. Hey, we are light workers here. We want to see the best in humanity. We are here not to judge people, right? But it's like, wow. And this is, this is why we can't lean so much to one side either. It's about temper. It's about balance. Because I'm telling you, it's like, even though you want to see light and you, you're about spreading that, but yes, darkness does exist. Darkness exists. And it's not that you're going around thinking, oh, voodoo, evil, evil, iniquity workers. But it's like knowing that it exists, but we're not dwelling on it. Knowing that it cannot overcome us. But does that mean it doesn't exist? Absolutely not. If God knows it. This is why he says the weapon may form. Why does the weapons form? He knows that people are going to form weapons. Are they going to prosper? No. But it's like, don't be so ignorant or just be so naive or gullible thinking that everybody's love and light. No, this is why we are here as light workers, because this world, it, it's filled with darkness. And so it's like when we walk into environment so naive thinking everybody's love and light and they're healing this is how sometimes we end up hurting ourselves it's like we go in peace but we're prepared for war wise as a serpent harmless as a dove and it's it's the people it's the people who are around us. They hurts us the most, the ones who are closest to us. I mean, there are outsiders who will hate us, you know, from outside as well. But for a lot of you, a lot of us, the hurt, it's from people who are very close. We, we thought we know them, families, friends, neighbors, people we fellowship with, eat with. Yeah, you're an earth angel. You're an earth angel here. Wow. And it's, it's like God send us out into territories too. 
where we change people and our lives are forever changed too. For Earth Angel, it says you are, you are already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Yeah, it's like you're already doing it. You don't have anything to prove to people. You don't have to compete. You know who you are. You're a king of pentacles. You're loyal. You're stable. You're a boss. You know how to get it. You're on your throne. You know your place. It's like you already know who you are. You know where you're coming from. And even though people around you may know this, you're coming from out of the cold. You're coming from nothing to building yourself up. And these are the same people who tried to take you out, to slander you, to assassinate your character, to downplay who you are because they wanted people to see you in a different light. Some of them, they thought that if they could take you out, they could replace you. That's why they wanted to sacrifice you. Divine is saying, you're already doing your stuff. You're already on your game. You, you already know your assignment. You don't need to prove anything to anybody. Just stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. It's like you're already in your purpose. This is over Earth Angel. You're already in your purpose here. And look at the back. It says, warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? So you're a warrior. You're a fighter. You know how this is done. This is not your first rodeo. And it's like, yes, it's like we go into situations where we are tested, we are tried. And it's like God is saying, it's like, get used to it. This is a part of the mission. You know, when we go out into battle, we're going to get bruised. And we're going to, our light is going to bruise others as well. Yeah, soul family. This is under ancient Egyptian ancestors, your soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. And I show you the card that says deceased loved ones are protecting you. So you have ancient Egyptian ancestors and divine is saying, call in your soul family. The people who you resonate with. The people who vibe with you. The people like the dolphins, they made for life. The people who are for you. The real people who are for you. It's like you're done with people who will become jealous of you. And again, new levels, new devils. But it's like these are the people who are for you. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. You don't have to do it alone. And look, again, it says you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Oh my goodness. I mean, wow. Yeah. Even if we are alone here in the physical, and this is what a lot of people, they capitalize on that. That you are alone. You're alone in the physical, but no, in the spiritual. I'm telling you, you have an, a whole army who is for you. Who is for you, who only wants the best for you, who only wants the best for us. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Tarot reader, birthing a new age birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being absolutely so as a tower reader you are able to manifest you're birthing a new age it's like you free yourself from the eight of swords you are forever change and they are seeing this they saw you when you were stuck hey they are the ones who did it now they're seeing you or they will be seeing you unstuck you're transformed, you're forever changed, and now you're birthing a new age. It's like a new thing. You're birthing new creation. It's like this reminds me of the Empire, the Empress here. You're dreaming a whole new world into being. Just by you going out into your calling. 
Wow, Council of Light, your generational curse breaker. Divine orchestration, helpers in the subtle realm. It's like all of this was divinely guided and orchestrated. It's like God put you there in that group, in that family, that lineage, those people you thought were for you. It's like it was all a part of the plan. You have helpers in, in, in the spiritual realm who were guiding you all this time. For a lot of you, a lot of us is like just when they were about to finish us off, God stepped in because they tried. The weapons formed, but it couldn't prosper. Mm, star seed. Divine is saying, take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. It's like now, it's time to rest. You know, it's like take a break. When man and earth have done their best, angel in, angels in heaven cannot do anymore. Yeah. At the back here, it says the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Yeah, for a lot of you, a lot of us, this was it, the last chapter, our phase to step over, to cross over, to be initiated into your calling as a light worker, a generational curse breaker, an earth angel. It's like you crossed over. You are now a part of the family of God. It's like you thought you were before, now you really are. It's like you pass the test. This is what I'm hearing here. You pass the test. You pass the test. It's like as a lamb to the slaughter, you went into demonic spiritual territory here and you pass the test. You went humbly. It's like Jesus to the cross. You went humbly. Wow. You went humbly. See, you're coming into three of pentacles, you know, collaboration here and the ten of cups. A lot of these people they work together. Like I said, they're families. They're your families. These people, they work together to get this done. This was more than one people here. Ten of Cups, your family, people that you poured into, you invested. I mean, and this is like one of the things that hurts the most too. It's like the people who came up against you, against us are people that you would have done anything for. I mean, I remember personally one of the person who really tried to take me out. I put up for free, paid bills for free, feed, fed this person for free. And yet still, they were the ones who went around saying all kind of stuff. They were the ones funding me, taking care of me, paying my bills. Just doing the most. Just doing the most. Yeah, these are the people who wanted you to be stuck. They wanted you to be stuck with the hangman here. They wanted you to be stuck. They didn't want you to move on. Mm. See, you are this over this transformation, this nine of cups here. You're loving, you're caring, you're emotionally stable. Look, the hierophant. You're a leader over the earth angel. You have a calling on your life to inspire, to motivate people. That's who you are. Seven of wands, yeah over the soul family here and your ancestors. I'm telling you, you are protected, seven of wands, and you're called to have boundaries as well. King of cups, birthing a new age. You're loving, you're caring. Again, even after everything that you have gone through, you still have a cup of love to offer. 
genuine. You're still emotionally stable and balanced. See, these people, they wanted to see, let people see you like you're somebody who is emotionally unstable. You're codependent. You're off your rockers. You are better, not bitter. Yeah, nine of swords. Council of light. They wanted you to be up in your head, stuck. That's what they wanted. They didn't want people to see you for who you really are. See all those swords. Again, they wanted to paint you in a whole different light. Yeah, five of swords. You've been through a lot. People who created conflict, no wonder. No wonder divine is saying, take a break. Take a break. You're a star seed. You came up against a lot of people who wanted to win at all costs. We saw the card warrior woman. And again, guys, you're a warrior man. You had to fight. You had to fight for this. Wow, look. Heartache, heartbreak. From people who are players that turned you in the king of swords or queen of swords here come correct or don't come at all and see now we have the sun clarity the sun is shining the light people are now seen for who they are and what they have done to a star somebody out there with a platform until next time take care god bless you are loved <laughs>